welcome once again fans of flip clocks to another raw video that's just a video where i don't do a whole lot of processing it's just me talking about flip clocks and as you know from previous videos these are my three clocks that i've been working on we've got uh, one it's a japanese clock that's rated for 100, 100 volts and uh, i'm running it on 120 just to and it's been running like that for a while without any problems at all and this one over here is a, a 220 volt um, clock I've got a converter over here and then this is a 120 volt and the thing that's you now let's get right to it someone had asked about what I was going to do with that uh, clock case that had the OK symbol on it well I just went ahead and and, and took that logo off and what do you what you use to get that off is uh, believe it or not brake fluid I just use dot three brake, brake fluid and put a little bit on there and let it let it soak in and and it took it off the only problem is it did take it off but there's an impression that was left in the case in that case um i don't know if they put it on with heat i'm not sure what but i'm right in the middle of this now i did have to sand it and what you use is very light sandpaper now of course you could have sanded it off in the first place but listen you're going to be getting into a lot more trouble if you do that so i've used right that's 220 grit that i've got this down here with i will take take it down some more with some like automotive uh, sandpaper up to like a thousand grit or something and then start to polish that it is a, it is arduous it is time consuming and it's difficult to get it to get it back to perfect and then i have to use a um, a um, polishing wheel i have a, a really neat polishing wheel and then i use plastics mcguire's plastics polish to get that down and then uh I don't know if it's worth it to you. You can. T it, it, it is a lot of work, and I hope hopefully that'll turn out good for me. But what this has got me thinking of, here we've got all these neon glow bulbs, and a common question people will ask me, uh, just to paraphrase it, is um, wouldn't it be better just to replace those old orange bulbs with some LEDs? Well, if you're asking me, the short answer is no. The long answer is hell no. Uh, but I don't mean to offend anyone because I... I believe if, if you have a clock, you do whatever you want with it. It's your clock if you want to upcycle it. In fact, I know a guy on Etsy who does that. He, he does a really good work there. He's making uh, really neat-looking clocks. Um, so th there's no problem with that. And if you want to take your clock and put an LED in there, you go right ahead. But don't try to use a Jedi mind trick on me and ask me, don't you think it would be better or uh, such? Because I don't. I think... I think the personal reason I want to use a neon glow bulb is because, first of all, I want to keep it as original as possible. And second, this during the day, you really don't see it much, but at night, it's a, a nice little warm glow, and it's, and it's perfect for this, um, this application. Um, now, to put an LED in, you're going to have to get an external uh, DC source. You're going to have to have a converter or something like that, which is, in most of these clocks, you're not going to be able to get that in here correctly to get the the ac converted to dc so you can run your your led now there are some skilled people who can do that they can make up their own boards little small circuit boards to put in there it's a lot of work i have actually done it before uh not made a board but i have made a put a clock let me see if i can show you this i had a clock that's that was uh, has was a black light has is black lit and so the bulbs that they have for that and we'll talk a little bit later about how they might have done that those are long gone and that you can't find them and they're most of them are all burnt out so what we're going to look at over here is that over there that's my black light clock you can see and what i had to do with that is i had to put an led in there now there it, there's a power uh, what they call it, led driver which is basically just converts ac to dc the drivers are based on the strength of the driver, the strength of what, how many lights you're going to run, and it's got a little bitty, little bitty thing in there that uh, that drives that LED strip. It's a strip of of on um, instead of like little bulbs, it's actually on a strip of three. So it was a perfect application. But but uh, the other thing is it's just retro. Look, it's neon. I mean, it's real neon. It's like neon lights. It's just cool. Sometimes people will say, "Well, the LEDs they last forever," and uh, forever is a long time and my answer to that is no they don't last forever if you like the look of it if you like it then go for it but you can't convince me that it's better uh, and like i said it's just retro it's, it's what it's all about you can't get more vintage than that 
Now, what about these bulbs? What's the story behind these bulbs, and where have they, where do they come from? Well, they've been around since the technology has been around since 1917, and these were used extensively to the 50s, 60s, 70s in small appliances and such. They're they're classified as a what's what they call a a low pressure discharge lamp. And, it's, and this kind of bulb is generally called a CCFL, and you've probably heard of that, cold cathode fluorescent lamp. And, and historically, if the, if the CCFL has a tube diameter less than 15 millimeters, they, they designate it as a neon lamp. Uh, you also hear it called a neon bulb or a neon glow bulb, regardless of what the actual gas inside of here is. Of course, mostly you're talking about neon. Now, the way that the way they work, and they, oh, they all not only neon glow bulbs, they also call them uh, indicator lamps. And the reason they'll do that is because they'll put these in the circuit, and if it's lit, you know the the circuit's live. So they're often called indicator lamps. But the way they work, there's two electrodes in there, and it's sealed in that glass bulb, and it has what's called a a noble gas mixture. And the noble gases chemist in chemistry um, are things. They're helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and then a, a radioactive radon, which we wouldn't use in here. But uh, under most conditions, they're odorless, colorless, and low chemical reactivity. Now, the, these bulbs, they, can, they run in the low amp range from like 0.1 to 10 milliamps, but on relatively high current, um, all the way up to 220 volts. So... It's perfect for them to be run off what they call mains um, electricity. Now, I like to use that term. That's not often used in the United States. Uh, Europe and uh, people in Australia will say mains or mains current. Uh, I like to say that. But in the U.S., uh, mains electric power is referred to by lots of different things. They'll call it utility power, household power, uh, house current, household electricity, power line, domestic power, wall power, line power, AC power, city power, or street power. Um, it's just all the same things. Household current. It's it's what it's what you run your 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 house off of. So that's what makes these things so interesting. And I don't think they're out of date. I think they have a lot of uses. And I, and I they're not really taking up that much energy in these clocks. And it's and they're not put they're not causing a lot of heat. Now now the issue is there's a degradation over time. And we're talking years. Uh, you'll read up that these have like a um, lifespan of like uh, 40,000 hours and 50,000 hours and that's what they're rated for and people will say uh, try to figure out how many days that's going to be and it's not that much but uh, that's my dog my son coming home nope my, yep anyway so the question is uh, is it a bad thing that they start to fade away uh, there's a rocker there's been a couple rockers, but the common saying is it's better to burn out than fade away. And that's questionable. So, you know, an LED, it's going to go until it's gone. It'll start flashing sometimes, and other times it's gone. This will fade out gradually over time, and the bulb will start to get blackened. And they say that's because the material that's on the electrodes starts spitting off and going up against the glass. So it's not really burning out, it's just fading away with time. So the bulb itself is made of the electrodes. They're usually nickel or manib manibdenum. I'm probably not saying that right. And they might be uh, they might be uh, coated with with something uh, strontium or some other thing like that. But the the thing the cool thing about it is these unlike like um, a regular light bulb which has a filament in it that's glowing hot. Those those filaments in there are not hot. When, when the electricity goes through there, it's causing the gas itself to ionize. And when the, when the gas falls back to a normal state, it'll uh, put off a glow, which is interesting. But it's only the negative one that does that. So in alternating current, you, as you know, the, the negative and positive is going to go back and forth like that. So n n there's, the only one's lit at, at any moment in time. But there, it's going back and forth so fast that you can't see it. I did a video of that where I have the camera frames per second at a certain point where uh, I don't know if it exactly equals the mains power, but it picks up the flash and you can you can see it on the video. I can look in my camera viewfinder and see the flicker. Turn around, look at behind the camera, and it's not there. So 
the flicker is there, but it's not visible. I just think that's cool. Now, there's other, there's other, uh, there's all kinds of different uh, types of these bulbs. So a lot of times people will say, well, where do you get your bulbs? Where do you get your bulbs? Well, I'll just tell you right now, best place to get them. And it's not an advertisement, it just is what it is. Memtronics.com. I'll put a link in the description to one of my favorite bulbs. This this box here is A9A. Now they all have different applications. They'll have different like current levels. Uh, you'll have to have whatever kind of certain resistor to use. What's this one? This is uh, AC3. Now there's two designations. I don't know the significance of that. Any two you AC3 same thing. A lot we've used this one frequently. It was the A1A. We've used that in some applications. Now the one I use most often is a C2A, and that's this one here. And this company, Mantromics if I'm saying that right, Memotronics uh, will actually give you the actual resistors that you're going to need for use with mains current in the United States, 120 volts. So it's a 30 kilo ohm resistor that you would just solder in. The bulb is not quite as big as, a, as a, the normal bulb, but it's fairly close and it puts out as much light, uh, no doubt. There are other colors. I'm going to show you one here. Now you can see here, these are just open alligator clips. So I'm going to put household current through that and that S is dangerous. And if I watch it, I'll grab hold of that. I don't want to do that. So that's a green one. It's a pretty green. I don't know if it, it doesn't render as, as nice as it, as it is here. So it doesn't look like that. That looks like a pretty bright white. It looks like a nice, a nice deep green. It just doesn't render here. Now how they do that. If you notice, before I powered that on, it was white. The, the blue bulbs are the same. And what they do is, on the inside of that bulb, they're putting a coating that, in the presence of, almost touched it, in the presence of UV light, it'll glow. It'll for us. In this case, they use argon. So instead of neon, they're going to use argon because when argon ionizes, it it, it produces a uh, infrared um, ultraviolet light it's causing it to go green so so that's got me thinking about that and thinking about these things and we're talking about that clock that I had used LEDs for I'm really wondering if I go ahead and get if that bulb that was in there it was a long bulb if that bulb that was in that clock originally wasn't just an argon lamp uh, and I have no idea maybe glowing blue so I've got some blue LEDs on order and I might try them in there and see if that doesn't do it. I could take the green and see if it fluoresces that. Um, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. Anyway, that's just to me, that's just interesting. I like the LEDs in that clock. And, and it's not like I'm totally against LEDs. I've got a clock a, uh, on the wall here. I've got a uh, Coke clock. Let's see if I can see. I can't see that. There you go. Okay, so that's my Coke uh, sign clock that, that did not come with the light originally. So I put one of those drivers in there. And a strip of white LED lights, and I like that at night. That really, that actually is like a night light around here. So I really like that. So again, I'm not, um, I'm not a foe of of, of converting your clock, but uh, definitely, I don't think it's better personally. But it's your it's your clock. I'm all about people doing with their clocks what they want to do. I know a guy had a. We found a uh, Back to the Future flip clock brand new in the box well not brand new but you know never used and the guy wanted it from me and I it cost me a lot of money it's just high dollar and he paid high dollar for it I didn't I didn't try to make a killing off of it I got basically got my money back it was a lot of money he got that thing took it out of the box and put it on his nightstand started running it and I thought, I thought you know more power to you because instead of having it on the shelf like a Barbie doll in a box and this guy's using it and that's what I think they're for. Nothing lasts forever, and this world's not going to last forever. So I don't think a flip clock should be in a box. That's just me. If you want them in a box, go right ahead. Pretty laid back about what you want to do. So, um, But, yeah, don't ask me if I don't think it would be better. So you know the answer to that. Well, that's just a little bit of what's going on around Flip Clock Fan Studio these days. If you have any questions, if you want to argue with me and tell me how dumb I am, for not liking LEDs, uh, you can do that. Oh, well, speaking of the LED um, CCFL or lamps, uh, if you think about, they talk about it being reliable and stuff like that, and like an airport, the airport lights, 
Do you think those Air Force lights are CCFLs or LEDs? Take, just take a guess. It's 50-50. Go ahead and say it. Come on. No, they use, they use CCFLs. Of course, they don't use neon glow bulbs, but they use xenon lights. And a lot of people's cars have xenon lights. They're very reliable lights, these CCFLs. So there you take that, LEDs. Uh, again, no offense. Well, thanks for taking the time. Again, if you want to add something in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, please give a thumbs up. If Even if you made it this far, uh, you don't have to love what I'm saying, but just appreciate, if you appreciate what I've got going on here, uh, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. It really helps keep me going. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Well, thanks for taking the time.